D Note, we back in the boxing world, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me so I can go ahead and get the 1K. Go ahead and get fully monetized, man. But yeah, man, interesting weekend in boxing. Cool weekend in boxing. We had a top rank card, had a zone card. Oshaki Foster got his rematch, got his win. He really won the first time, but now he's two time champion. Um, Fandora, his sister became undisputed at what, Flyweight, I think it is. And then, yeah, um, also, Raymond Moore Tyler fought. Fought some dude I didn't really know about. Um, he got the win. Easy win, easy knockout. Who else fought, man? Oh, yeah, Floyd Schofield, man. That's the, that's the fight we really got to talk about, man. <laughs> Floyd Schofield and his dad. Man, <laughs> they've been talking a lot, man. They've been talking a lot. Saying that Tank not ready. Tank won't fight him. Tank scared of him. Shakur scared of him. If you know, you know, it's just to get some more, um, some more attention on Floyd Schofield, man. They don't really want them fights. If they do get them fights, Floyd loses, man. He loses badly. He gets knocked out by Tank for sure. He gets knocked out. <laughs> like, there's no question that Tank knocks him out easily. And then if he, if he fights Shakur, Shakur might knock him out, but I don't think so because he, he knock out Artem. So I'm not going to say that he'll knock out Floyd, but. I think Floyd. I mean, I think um, Shakur beat him up. If he come in there in the right, in the right mindset, man, I think he'll come in there and beat him up, outbox him. I don't think Floyd Schofield will win a round, or maybe if he does, maybe a round or two. But he's not really a boxer. Schofield's a brawler. I already said I don't really think that he's the best, but I think he's solid, man. I think he could have a solid career. He kind of remind me of Sean Porter, man, like football body. <laughs> Um, explosive, like, I don't know, man, but I don't, I don't think they really know themselves in the ring. I don't think Sean Porter really figured himself out in the ring either. And I think Schofield got that same problem, man. He fought a solid dude yesterday. He got hurt in the third round. He, um, sat on a school, he sat on a stool, <laughs> missed the stool. His dad had to pick him up. Tank found it funny. A lot of people found it funny. He's been calling out Tank, man. So Tank has something to say about that. But yeah, he actually the WBA. He number two in the WBA. So he might end up being Tank mandatory very soon, man. But yeah, we'll see if Tank even take that fight if he dropped the belt or whatever happened with that. But yeah, Schofield got hurt in the third. Say he got hit in the back of the head, turned around. Like, you can't do that against the top guys, man. You do that against Tank, do that against Shakur, do that against... Shoot, even Keyshawn, man. I feel like Keyshawn, Abdullah Mason, like, I feel like they would have hurt dude if he would have did that against them. Like, you can't do that against good, the top competition. Like, dude, he fought with Solid. I forgot his name, like, Renee or something like that. I forgot his other, his last name, but his name, Renee. He's Solid, man. Like, he, he was 20 and 3. He's Solid. Not a bad fighter at all, but <laughs> he ain't really fought nobody. And, like, He's a smaller guy. Like, you could tell just from his body frame that, like, he's a smaller guy. I think he started at, like, he probably had to start at, like, 112, 118. Like, he a smaller guy. Like, he, he definitely came up in weight. He not a, he undersized guy for Floyd. Come on, good matchmaking. Like, he was supposed to get him up out of there, but went the distance. Floyd won by a wide margin on all the scorecards. But it was still a solid fight. Floyd got dropped. I think that was more because of like he got, he was tired. I don't know, I don't know, but it seemed like he was just a little tired towards the end of the fight. Probably in good shape, but I don't know, man. He just got a weird, weird built, man. Like he built weird, but I don't know. But we'll see what end up happening with that, man. He got up out of there, got the win. He didn't look too horribly. He reminded me of Sean Porter, like I said. I think he'll be a good fighter, not a great fighter. I don't think he'll beat the top guys, but. Hey, man, that's a solid career, man. Sean Porter had a good career. He fought all the top guys, put up some good fights, didn't win. But, yeah, I don't think – I don't even think Floyd would put up a good fight versus Tank or Shakur. I think it would be a lopsided victory, a knockout for Tank, and a, a UD by Shakur where he win basically every round, maybe lose one round. But I really couldn't see how he could even win a round versus Shakur. But he do got some good things that he do, man. He got some power. He's strong, like – he explosive when he, but he just, he lunged, still doing that. Like, I think he just need a new trainer, man. I think he need to get his dad out his corner. But, hey, man, he's still solid, man. I think a lot of dudes at 135, 140 
to beat him, though. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, but he should have a, a, a decent career, man. He, like, he not bad at all. Like, he, he got some skills, but he just – he not all the way polished, man. And he just – he don't know what to do in his ring. And, like, his dad don't know what to tell him. So, it's like, hey, man. He not a bad coach at all, though, but it's just like, come on. It's like, man, what, what you doing in there, man? Like, what you – like, bro, you got to calm down, man. Keep a level head. I know he's your son. But come on, man. Come on. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that, man. Tank has stuff to say. Shakur has stuff to say because he's been calling them out heavy. He's been calling out all the top guys. They had a lot to say after that fight last night. <laughs> they was on buddy head, man, and rightfully so, rightfully so, for sure. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think about Floyd Schofield, what y'all think his ceiling is, how good y'all think he'll be, what y'all think about that Sean Porter comparison, and what y'all think he – do anybody think he could beat Tank or Shakur or, like, all y'all – on the same page with that one, man, because I think it's pretty clear. But, yeah, it always been like that with me. I think Adula beat him. I think Carmel Moten could beat him. If he come up from 130 or 135, I think he could beat him. Um, who else? Um, a lot of people, man. I think Frank Martin beats Floyd Schofield. I think it's a few people that beat Floyd, man. But we'll see what end up happening if he end up getting one of them big fights. Hey, it's a business. Got to try to get them big fights however you can. Got to try to get the most attention on you however you can, I guess. Hey, it's it's a different world out here now. <laughs> I don't really, I ain't into the clout chasing, but hey, got to do what you got to do, man. It's a business. It's marketing. You got to understand that, man. But yeah, I don't, I don't see it, man. Like he not, he's solid fighter, but he just not, he not one of them AAA class fighters. Like he might be a B level, high E level fighter, but like he, he's solid, but he just not. He not all the way there, man. But we'll see what end up happening, man. He's still young, 18 and 0, with the right matchmaking. Hey, they can make him look good. But yeah, we'll see what end up happening, man. <laughs> Just definitely know that he's not ready for Tank. He's not ready for Shakur. He's not ready for any of the top guys at 135. But yeah, let me know what y'all think, man.